Saint Teresa of Avila was a Carmelite nun who died in 1582. She was a prominent Spanish mystic and a religious reformer. In August 2024, with the Vatican's approval, Saint Teresa's tomb was reopened, allowing a research team from the Gabriele D'Annunzio University of Chieri Pescara to study her remains. The goal is to learn more about St. Teresa's life, her health, and the preservation of these historical artifacts. Professor Ruggiero D'Anastasio of the research project team contacted me to reconstruct the face of St. Teresa. The team provided a range of data to approximate St. Teresa's face, detailed anthropomorphic measurements, and x-rays taken from various angles. Other important sources of data from the time St. Teresa lived included a painting by Father Giovanni della Miseria and a detailed description of St. Teresa's facial features by Sister Mary of St. Joseph, who lived with the saint. The description is amazing. It's a detailed and nuanced eyewitness account of the saint. She observed that St. Teresa's face divided perfectly into thirds that she had broad arched eyebrows and had three moles on her face. The key to reconstructing St. Teresa's face was to methodically cross-reference all of the sources of data at every stage of the process. I started by reconstructing the skull in clay using the anthropomorphic measurements and X-ray images. I placed the mandible correctly and sculpted teeth to replace those which had fallen out post-mortem. I then used a combination of forensic facial approximation methodologies used in the US and the UK. This involved a number of stages. First, tissue depth markers are placed at specific points across the face and the skull. Then, using soft oil-based clay, I modelled the major muscles over the skull's bony architecture. Soft tissue features like the eyes, nose and lips were estimated using formulas based on measurements of the skull and by studying the x-rays. The formulas calculated the length, width and angle of the nose, the shape of the tip of the nose, the height and width of the lips and provide guidance to position the eyes correctly within the bony orbits of the skull. Finally, a layer of clay skin was then applied across the musculature to the height of the tissue depth markers. With the agreement of the Carmelite Postulator General, I sculpted St. Teresa at around 50 years of age and reflected her appearance as plump, as Sister Mary had described. The veil, wimple and robes of St. Teresa were based on specific paintings and guidance provided by Father Miguel Angelo Gonzalez. The world has changed so much since St. Teresa was alive in the 16th century. Modern technology enables us now to recreate faces from the past based on scientific data, which means that this sculpture could be the most accurate depiction of how St. Teresa really looked in life. It has been an honour to do this important work.